take just a minute and stop to see if anybody is going to hop on and join us today. Let's see. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. Um, welcome back to another Life Science Live. My name is Marie, and we're gonna talk about Arctic animals and adaptations that they have to help them survive. Okay, so the Arctic is a polar region located at the uh, northernmost part of the Earth. Um, so the Arctic is up here, it's the North Pole. Um, so here we have the, uh, the Arctic contains the Arctic Ocean and the Alaska and let's see some other countries like Russia and as well as some European countries such as like Greenland and Iceland and these countries right here. So all of those things are the Arctic um, and make up the Arctic and so we're going to talk about some animals that live there. Okay, so the first animal that we're going to talk about is the musk ox. So the musk ox looks similar to a buffalo, but it is different. Um, so here we have a musk ox pelt, or part of a musk ox pelt. So you can see they have extremely long hair, and um, the long hair helps them stay warm in the Arctic. Um, I forgot to mention, the Arctic can get um, stays around an average of negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Um, so animals have to be able to survive in that really, really cold environment. So having really long hair and fur helps keep the animals warm. So musk ox, uh, musk ox pelt is actually made of the two layers. So the outer layer are called guard hairs and they're these really, really long hairs. Um, and then the second layer is, um, is called the cubute and it's this really, you can see right here, it's very, very thick and it keeps the muskox really, really warm. And the guard hairs are meant to protect this inner layer. So yeah, those are the two layers of a muskox pelt. Um, they, uh, they also, whenever it gets really cold, they will also, um, uh, for, uh, they will uh, go into groups. So they do live in herds, um, but when it gets really cold, they will uh, get really close to each other and huddle together to keep themselves even warmer. Okay, so yeah, that's the musk ox. Let's talk about another animal. Let's talk about the Arctic fox. So the Arctic fox also has really, really thick fur. You can see right here, it is very thick and extremely soft. It is very soft. So having this thick fur helps keep the, uh, the fox warm as well. And there are some other adaptations that the ar Arctic fox has as well. Um, they have really pointy, they have short pointy ears that helps them hear, uh, helps them hunt and hear mice that are moving around in the snow. So they have the pointy ears and they also have a very thick bushy tail which also helps keep them warm and they will wrap their tail around them uh, in their burrows to help keep them warm okay so uh, let's go let's see let's do another animal let's talk about the ptarmigan so the ptarmigan is a bird that lives in the Arctic as well, and uh, they have lots and lots of feathers. They have feathers that cover all, all over their body, and um, let's see. So here's a ptarmigan. So that you can see the ptarmigan is all white. Um, the color helps them blend in with the snow. The same thing with the Arctic fox. 
their furs white to help them blend in with the snow. Um, so the ptarmigan, they have feathers all over their body, even covering their nostrils. So if you look right here, you can see that there's feathers covering their nostrils, and they even have feathers on their feet. So if you look really closely right here, you can see their feet, that's their feet right there, and they have feathers covering them. So it's kind of funny, I think, but it's also really cool. I think that they have feathers covering their feet. Okay, so in the when it changes to summer, um, when it goes from winter to summer, they will their feathers will actually change color. So they'll go from white until they get to brown. So you can see they're all their white feathers uh, will fall out, and then they will grow brown ones. So here's a ptarmigan going from white to brown or brown to white. Um, but yeah, really cool. And you can see better here their feet and how their feet are just covered in the feathers. And all of the feathers keep their feet warm. Um, but yeah, that's the ptarmigan. And there's another animal that lives in the Arctic uh, called the reindeer. And here we have, let's see, we have a little reindeer pelt right here. So, Reindeer, all of these animals have really thick pelts to help them stay warm, and the reindeer does as well. So, if you look here, you can see how it is very thick, especially when you look from the side, it's very, very thick, and that hair keeps them warm. So, yeah, that's the reindeer. Okay, we're going to talk about another animal, uh, and that is the polar bear. There's one right behind me. Polar bears are built to live in the cold. Um, polar bears rely heavily on sea ice to hunt, um, and when they get into the water, their fur gets wet. So, and to help keep their fur from completely getting saturated and completely wet, their fur is actually really oily. Um, so, polar bears have really oily fur. And having that fur, uh, having the oil on top of their fur keeps the water from getting all the way um, uh, to the bottom, to their skin. Uh, and polar bears also have two layers. Uh, polar bears also have two layers of fur. They have the outer layer and then the inner layer, which is very thick and very, um, it's much softer than the outside, which is very coarse. So I'm going to do a little experiment and uh, show you just give a little visual of to how oil can um, keep water from getting. So I'm pouring some oil into the water. Okay. So oil and water don't mix. You can see right here. So the oil goes to the top. The, uh, the oil is separate separated from the water and having the oil on top on the outside of the polar bear's fur really keeps the water from getting from getting in so you can see just a little cool visual how water and oil don't mix so having the oil on top of their fur is very very helpful okay so some other things about polar bears um, their fur is actually transparent so it actually has no color at all. Um, and not having any color in their fur actually allows them to absorb a lot more heat uh, from the sun. So, and that's kind of why it turns yellow is because their fur is transparent and the sun turns it yellow. So, and another thing about polar bears is their um, skin is black. So, and black absorbs a lot of heat and having black skin allows them to be to get really, really warm. Let's see, we have a couple of questions. Do polar bears eat them? I'm assuming they mean reindeer. Um, so polar bears will eat, they will actually hunt in the ocean. Uh, they'll hunt for seals. I think that's what their primary source of food. Um, but maybe if they get really desperate, they might try to, um, actually, I'm not sure if they live in the same region. Um, that's a good question. 
but I don't think polar bears eat reindeer. Um, I have another question. How did how do reindeer stay safe um, when it isn't white in the snow? So that's a good question. I believe their fur also changes color. So you can see that their um, their fur is brown. Um, it's more brown than it is white. Um, and so yeah, they I think. Well, um, actually, I'm not for sure if their fur changes color. I'm pretty sure it stays like this. But they are able to blend in with, I think they live in some areas where there's trees. So I think they do blend in with the trees. The brown helps them blend in with the trees. Okay. So um, back to polar bears. So um, let's see if there's any other questions about this section. Okay. So. Like I said, polar bears have black skin, and their black skin all actually allows them to absorb a lot of heat um, and retain a lot of heat. But if it gets really, really cold, um, they will uh, bur they will dig in the snow and uh, make a little burrow, and they'll hide in that snow and curl up, and that also keeps them warm as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys saw this talking about polar bears and the oil on their fur. Um, the oil keeps their fur dry because oil and water do not mix like this. So yeah. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please uh, comment them or type them in and we would love to answer them. Um, but yeah, polar bears, they're so well built for the cold that they actually have the possibility of overheating uh, and that's why they walk pretty slow. Um, you don't see them running very often. And if they do run, um, they could possibly overheat. So they are extremely well built for the cold and they have lots of adaptations to help them survive. Um, so yeah, this was a short one today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, just type them in and I would love to answer them. Um, so yeah, I hope you will join us next week, uh, next week for more uh, Life Science Lives and um, we appreciate you guys and we'll see you next week. Bye everyone.